Hello, my name is Arush Dayal, and I'm going to be presenting two contrasting monologues today. Uh, so the first monologue is Andrew's monologue from the play I Hate Hamlet by Paul Rudnick, and the other monologue is Harrow's monologue from the play The Fly by Walter Weggs. Enjoy. Okay, so last night, right from the start, I knew I was bombing. I sounded big and phony, real D and down. And then I started rushing it. Hey, what's new in Denmark? I just couldn't connect. I couldn't get a hold of it. And while I was babbling, I look out, right? And I see this guy sitting in the second row. This kid, like 16, obviously dragged there. And he's just yawning and jiggling his leg and reading his program. I'm going to talk to him and tell him, Hey kid, I'm with you, okay? I can't stand this either. But I couldn't do that. And I just keep feeling worse and worse. I'm just drowning at this point. And I thought, all my questions are answered. I'm no Hamlet. I'm not even an actor. What am I even doing here? But then, I got to the soliloquy, the main job, and I'm right in the headlights. And I thought to myself, you know what? Christ to hell with it. Let's just do it. To be or not to be, that is the question. Where it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing, end them. And I went on. I finished my speech and I look out and I see the kid and he's listening. The audience, completely silent totally focused and I was Hamlet went on for around 10 seconds more then I was in hell and I stayed there but just for that little bit that one speech I got it I had it Hamlet and just about 8,000 more lines to go yeah I'm not stupid, Murray. I'm not an idiot. Okay? I wouldn't have done this if I hadn't considered every possible move you might make. What I'd do if you did this or that? There are a multitude of scenarios playing in my mind. You know, if you're locked in a game of crazy chess, I'm ten moves ahead. Your king is trapped. My queen is breathing down his neck. My knight is running him down like a pig. And my bishop? Well, my bishop is bashing his fucking brains in all over the chessboard. There's no way out. I left nothing to chance. Nothing. We documented the entire thing. From the very beginning, we planted evidence. You know, well, most of it you practically give crap, actually, so maybe I should thank you. Because not only did you make things extremely easy, but also kind of entertaining in a goofy, bumbling, trees do just sort of way. It was like our little in-flight movie on our way to your money. We'll be landing there in just a few minutes. You know, even if you were to attempt to tell the truth now, and first of all, I don't even think you know what that actually means, the truth. 
But let's just say you were to attempt to tell it. No one would believe a single fucking word. No one! Not your closest friends? And not your mama. Oh. So I'll tell you what. Sign everything over to me. Everything. I'll lock up the evidence and I'll keep it safe. I'll make sure that no one ever sees it. You can continue living your angst-ridden, tortured writer's life. Sign autographs. Keep banging those starstruck fans in conventions. Oh hey, who knows, maybe you could just write a new book. A brand new adventure. An unwritten story. New characters, a new world. That wouldn't be so bad now, would it? I mean, don't you kind of miss those days? Be honest with me. Back when everything was an adventure. Before you were made. Right at the very beginning. Don't you miss that? Huh? Not even a little bit? <laughs>